welcome back to Flapflix. Well, Italian cocktails were by far the most requested. It makes me so happy to work with iconic Italian spirits and make some of the most popular cocktails that all of you should make and try. Every week I always have something for you guys. This week's giveaway is not going to be a bar set with shaker, but we'll be doing a lot of stirring with ice, so I prepared these three items. For a chance to win, all you need is be subscribed to this channel, leave a comment below and one of your names will be announced at the end of next video. Let's go! First, let's make a Milano Torino, a really simple drink that led us to the famous Americana cocktail and then Negroni. It was created in Milan named after its original Italian ingredients Campari and sweet vermouth. We will be serving it in a rocks glass with cubed ice and we need a lot of it today. Let's cut this large block, make one cube that should perfectly fit into your glass. I make adjustments since most of the rocks glasses are different shape and form. Now in a cold glass pour bitter liqueur Campari and the same amount of sweet vermouth. Add a cube of ice or of course if you're mixing it right now in your kitchen any kind of ice works and stir it for at least 10 seconds. Most of the drinks we will be garnishing with orange today so we will need a lot of it. Now let's cut a slice and place it right inside of the drink. Drink it quick since we are going to walk just a couple of blocks to another bar in Milan where the Americana cocktail was created. Fill up chilled highball glass with ice, same as in Milano Torino at Campari, the same amount of sweet vermouth and just like Americans loved in 18 60s, fill it up with soda water and garnish it with orange slice. Now it's time to make arguably the most popular Italian cocktail, Negroni. It could be made in a lot of different ways and with different proportions, but I'm going to make it in the most popular way by mixing all ingredients in equal parts. In the chilled mixing glass, add one part of gin for a kick, one part of Campari, one part of the sweet vermouth, put plenty of ice in the mixing glass and stir it properly to dilute and chill our Negroni. You can serve it straight up in the cooked glass, but the most popular way to serve it in the rocks glass with ice. Strain everything from the mixing glass on top of the ice. Just like in the previous versions, you can garnish it with orange slice, but since we're making a proper bar version, I will make an orange zest and squeeze essential oils on top. Now make sure to hit the like button for drinking so much Campari today and we need another bottle to make a Negroni's Bagliato. In the chilled rocks glass pour Campari, sweet vermouth, fill it up with ice, add sparkling wine and lightly stir it with a spoon. Put one or two cubes of ice on top, cut one thin slice of orange and put it in the side of the glass so half of it sticks out so it looks nice and pretty. But if you take a quick trip to Venice, we will find a lighter version of Negroni here called Cardinale, where instead of sweet vermouth, we replace it with dry vermouth or Riesling wine. Okay, the fun fact that our next cocktail Bellini was created also in Venice's Harry's Bar in 1945. We need a peach puree, which you can make by blending fresh peaches with simple syrup or the easiest way to use pre-made high quality puree and it will be easier to store it. In the chill champagne or tall wine glass, add peach puree, fill it up to the top with prosecco and gently stir it with a spoon. For garnish, cut small slice of fresh peach and put it on the glass rim. It's refreshing and absolutely bellissimo, but there are one ingredient that goes even better with prosecco than peaches, it's a strawberry. And now we're going to make the most popular variation of Bellini, a cocktail called Rossini. You also can go easy way and get strawberry puree at Walmart for $3.79. It tastes fantastic and the color of your drink will be bright and rich. But if you want to make it like in Venice, put in a blender one cup of Italian strawberries, depends how sweet you prefer, add simple syrup and blend it until it becomes a puree. Now add puree into the chilled champagne or wine glass, pour slowly Prosecco to the top and gently stir it until puree completely mixed. Garnish it with fresh strawberry and imagine the most satisfying thing you tried before now times 10 and that would be an accurate description of how Rossini tastes. When I visited first time Venice and Milan, I thought that at every restaurant they serve Aperol Spritz instead of water. Anywhere you look you see someone drinking it. It's probably an Italian tradition to drink it in the morning, lunch and dinner. Earlier this year we had so much fun creating an episode Aperol Spritz Home Pro Expert. If you would like to check it out, I will leave a link in the description for you. This absolute must try brunch cocktail and I think it's the most underrated drink in the world. To make this Italian classic we need just two ingredients. Freshly squeezed orange juice. By the way, at the proper cocktail bars, bartenders use a high-speed juicer to make it fluffy. But at home, you can use a handheld frother to aerate the juice so the final product will be even more delicious. Fill up a tall glass with ice, add Campari. If you don't like the juice with pulp, use a fine strainer, but you really shouldn't. Lightly stir it with a spoon and let's garnish it with orange wedge since we had enough of slices today. Next is not exactly Italian creation, but made with one of the most popular must-try liqueurs 
Gaudiana, which is a sweet herbal liqueur with wide range of herbs and spices such as juniper, anise and vanilla. To make one of my favorite shots, pour in the shot glass, layer of Galliano, next layer of Italian espresso and the last layer will be heavy whipping vegan cream. I'm <laughs> just kidding, you can use a regular cream. If you like elderflower flavor, this will be your favorite spritz. Fill up the large chilled glass with ice, pour 2 ounces of Prosecco, now add elderflower liqueur and a little bit of soda water, lightly stir it and we need to garnish it with lime wheel and fresh mint. Now let's go to northern Italy where our next cocktail is quite popular. To make a puccini we need the juice of fresh mandarins. I'm going to squeeze juice from 4 mandarins, now in the coupe or flute glass add the juice, pour cold prosecco and garnish it with mandarin wedge. Super excited to make my favorite drink with amaretto, Godfather. It got popular in the 70s after the iconic film, yep, the Godfather. Ok, we need a large piece of ice that fits perfectly in the rocks glass. And just like Don Vito Carleone said, revenge is a drink, better served cold. Add amaretto, blended scotch whiskey, put a large cube of ice inside, stir it with a spoon until it gets really cold and squeeze orange zest on top. I'm gonna make them an offer again. It will be an ice cold shot of Italian liquor limoncello, just like it's supposed to be consumed in Italy. And exactly the same way you can drink grape based Italian brandy, grappa. Pour some into your coffee shot and enjoy. Big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. For anyone who wants to support this channel, please check links in the description. And of course, thanks to all of you who commented in the previous video World's Top Cocktails. Our bar set winner is Mark McKnight. Never be afraid to make something new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.